Hello guys, welcome and thanks for choosing in actions. Uh, here is a new action called minimal dots Photoshop action and it produced very nice dots effect like this one. The action is very easy to use, just uh, um, choose your photo, choose your image, build a um, additional layer with selected area and just play the action and voila. The action has a uh, Three styles to choose normal, inverted, and style with the two colors. And all, yeah, all the styles are uh, all the styles have uh, two options small dots and medium dots. You can use mm, medium dots for a nice minimal um, style like this, or you can use small dots for more details. Like here it is more details in the eye, for example. This is more examples of the action. You can use this action with mm, every shape you find, also with a text, or you can use with uh, images, every kind of images, most of. Is a combination of image and additional um, additional text from the other file. To use this action, you must be sure you use English version of Photoshop. To check that, go to Edit, Preferences, Interface, and here it is. OK. Now go to Image, Mode. You must be sure you checked RGB color and 8-bit channel. OK. In CS5 or higher, you must also check this button in the layer panel. Go to Panel Options. And here it is, the last option. Add copy to copy layers and groups. This option also must be checked. OK, now I want to show you uh, how to start working with this action. So at first, you need to load the action. So open the Actions panel, go here, click Load Actions, and Low Minimal Dot Action. OK, now go to Edit, Presets, Presets Manager, and load the patterns. Choose Patterns, Load Minimal Dot Spot File, here, load it. OK, done. OK, uh, I already loaded the image. The image uh, must be on the special Photoshop background layer, like this. If you do not have it, like this, for example, layer 0, you must select this layer, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. Now it's proper background layer. You need, you need only to build a new uh, area, area layer, like this one with a selected area. We can paint it on the image wherever you want. I just uh, selected only the only the this person. And this is it. Go to actions, choose your style, for example medium to types dots and click play the action. The pop-up window will show, click continue, and choose your thres threshold level. So now you have the ability to change the look of the effect on the end, maybe something like this. Click OK. And that's all. Wait for the action finish. The action is finished. Uh, if you are not satisfied with the effect, you can uh, just delete this one folder. Uh, here is a minimal half tone to types folder in this case. This is a, uh, only this folder with all effects. And you can delete it and uh, correct the area layer and start over uh, the action. So we can look what we have here inside this folder. And the most important three layers half tone layer, half tone layer 2, and color background. Half tone layer in this case. Uh, this is um, just black dots, half tone layer 2, 
this is a second color dots and the color background which is a main background color we can change it for example maybe some blue blue color change the second color I don't know maybe maybe orange yeah it's nice and the black dots will be black dots now now we can change maybe change for some maybe change for some also blue but a little darker yeah it can it seems to be nice for example maybe something much darker okay and uh, we have some uh, two additional layers with uh, additional effects scratches and fade scratches uh, are additional texture uh, you can zoom zoom in to show it now you can see this texture of the scratches uh, simulate old old print you can turn it off and you achieve some uh, clean look uh, only uh, with the colors no texture and you can you can also um, turn off the fade layer to achieve less washed out look oh so leave it not turn turn on and this is it. Um, the additional shadow effect, which are presented in uh, examples. Now I'm going to show you how to do that very fast. So, for example, you use uh, only only one uh, one color dot type. So, for example, we want to make a shadow with other color. So, just select uh, this layer and the um, color layer and copy it. Now, uh, now we change the color copy. For example, maybe some pink, some neon effect. And now we can move it. Just select the layer, um, choose the move tool, and move it. I can also do it by the arrows on the keyboard. And this is it. Now it looks like a uh, simple shadow, but we can also uh, change this color of the shadow for some more vibrant look to achieve some some interesting stuff. In this case, maybe this vibrant isn't much readable, so maybe we can leave it like some darker color, maybe pink, but pink, but some darker, more like this. Okay, uh, there are uh, additional folder called Exploded and Exploded 2, and those are the folders that will help you if you want to achieve some additional effects. And let's take a look what is inside. Uh, for now, I will turn off these two layers and turn on the Exploded folder. Now you see, uh, now you see that are uh, the same dots, but they are grouped by the size. So you have the biggest one, the biggest dots, larger dots medium dots and smallest dots and they are all separated so you can mess around with that to achieve some nice look okay we can do it like this this that's all i hope you like it i hope you uh, achieve some very very interesting results and take care